If you like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, check out these smooth operators and sell crack shirts available now at feathersjail.com. Hey, how's it going? And welcome to another JoJo Lands chapter review. All right, another month, another chapter of the JoJo Lands. And this review is probably going to be a little bit of a quicker one. The last two chapters had an absolute ton to talk about. And comparatively, this one's a little bit more kind of action focused. There's a lot more panels and sometimes whole pages with no dialogue. But nonetheless, it was a really fun, really good chapter. So we start the chapter seeing Jodio using his impressive sneaky skills to just kind of kind of waltz past Rohan. It still feels like a sentence I didn't think I was going to be saying in my lifetime. <laughs> it's like Jodio, something having to do with Rohan, but here we are. And then Jodio makes his way over to his iPad and confirms that, yeah, this is in fact the Rohan, the author of Pink Dark Boy. So the first couple of pages pretty much play out how you'd expect. Jodio is by the pool. Meanwhile, the other three are trying to get into the mansion. And there's this really cute scene where Dragona is like, all right, all we're after is the diamond. Don't take anything else. And it cuts to Usagi and Paco, like trying to lift a bunch of shit. Like Paco's got a watch in his mouth. Usagi's hitting the liquor. Really good stuff. I really, really like this crew a lot. I'm already like so endeared to these guys. And the dynamic is a little bit different from how I was kind of expecting it to be. Like, I think I said in my chapter one review that I expected it to be kind of this like goofy, silly axis where Jodio is the most goofy one and Paco is the most serious. But based on these most recent chapters, it seems like Paco is a lot more goofy than I was giving him credit for. And of course, Usagi continues to be a silly, goofy little guy. I also like this one scene where Usagi thinks he's smart and is like, oh, I bet the safe is behind this painting. So he takes out some scissors and just cuts up the painting and there's nothing behind it. So he's like, nope, there's nothing there. And Paco just decides to yoink some cash anyways, because, you know, when in Rome, I guess. When at Kashibe Rohan's house. All right, from here on, this is where the chapter gets confusing in the good old fashioned, like, patented Jojo, what the fuck is going on kind of way. The gang stumbles across a laboratory? Dude, by the end of this chapter, there's like seven or eight different weird unexplained things going on. But in this little laboratory, there's a bunch of volcanic rocks. And once Jodio kind of sips through the iPad, he finds a bunch of pictures of like active volcanoes, lava, lava flow, like cool lava rocks. And so the other three start having like a Breaking Bad scene where they start talking about the possibility that Rohan is cooking up drugs in this lab. And apparently in the flash, there's, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry. It's, uh, uh, I, I, I don't fucking know. AA lava, which according to Usagi, the, the science teacher are non-smooth, gnarled and spiky lumps of lava. I really like this panel right here where Paco goes. So what you're saying is you don't know shit, right? Thanks for the pointless lava lesson. <laughs> now go find the damn safe. Jodio also finds on the iPad, a bunch of pictures of a dog. And in emerges the same cat that we saw in the previous chapter. And Rohan gets out of the pool looking mighty sexy, real, like a real snack. What? I didn't say anything. What? And so Jodio gives them the call that Rohan is on the way into the house. But before that, he's curious about the cat. He starts asking, what's this cat doing here? They end up finding the safe. And this is my favorite panel of the whole shit. I have used, I've used the same picture in like the stream thumbnail. And this thumbnail is the picture of Usagi and Paco soyjacking. <laughs> like it's literally just the, the soyjack meme, dude. So as Dragona tries to use smooth operators to ply the safe open, Jodio tries making it rain by using November rain on some of Rohan's stuff to get him back to where he was. So Rohan goes and checks it out and is like, huh, how's it raining, what? And then the same cat starts to make its way inside. And Usagi's like, uh, the cat is coming, coming over here. But they manage to bust the safe open and inside is the diamond as well as some of the chunks of lava from the lab. And they're like, all right, whatever, who cares? Just put it in the backpack. Let's get out of here. And then they get attacked by an evil string. <laughs> like, the string grabs onto Paco and like really starts to dig into his flesh. Then one hangs onto Dragona. Then it tries to go for Usagi, but I think he manages to jump out of the way. I don't see any like blood on him. He looks really spooked, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't actually hit him. And so as Dragona and Paco start freaking out, Usagi is like, dude, the cat that walked past here was probably the stand user. That string is a stand. And then we cut back to Rohan, who's like, oh, what's going on? Who's also like, hang on, wait a minute. How did it start raining, but the rain only hit one specific spot? 
To which Jodio calls in and says, yeah, he's somebody who can see them. Right, so I know that was a lot of basically just recapping what happened in the part, but this is one of those chapters where it's kind of hard to even start talking about it until you reach the end. So yeah, the three big kind of like mysteries that are going on right now is the volcanic rocks, the string, <laughs> and the cat. Now, if there's anything I've learned from my many years of being a fan of this manga, it's that... It is almost entirely pointless to speculate about an ability before it's actually been revealed. There's like 150 million different things that could be happening right now, but... So a couple of possibilities. Number one is definitely the idea that the cat is a stand user and the string is his stand. But I think it is also very likely that there's a second individual involved in what's going on here. I think it's pretty likely that there is another group of people that are also trying to get this diamond who are also stand users. I think another possibility is that the cat and the string, like the cat is the stand and the string is just part of its ability because we never see the cat and the string at the same time. It's always one or the other. So we'll just have to wait and see what's going on with the cat. I think the cat absolutely has something to do with the stand. There's definitely something going on with the cool, the lava because it's inside the safe. So who knows what's going on with the lava? Maybe this has something to do with an ability of a yet unseen sand user. Or maybe Rohan is just weird. When, when I was reading it with the chat, that, that was something that we kind of agreed was like, considering how weird Rohan is, maybe he just put lava rocks in the safe. <laughs> maybe he just did that. And one last little thing that I found kind of interesting is at the very end where Jodio calls in to say, yeah, Rohan could see them, but I'm not entirely sure why he's so positive about that. Because I'm pretty positive November Rain's droplets are visible to regular people, because the cops he used it on were like, oh, the rain, ah. Maybe the, like, after effect of the water is, like, supposedly not visible to stand users, but that doesn't really make sense, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this, unless I'm just totally missing something. I'm not sure why Jodio is so positive that Rohan can see stands. But yeah, overall, this is another really, really good chapter. I just absolutely love the setup that's going on here. The, like, diamond heist Rohan is there. Oh, I think I forgot to mention this, but this, like, first page here with all four of them goes so hard. This looks like the cover of the hottest album of 2023, bro. So yeah, we'll just have to wait another uh, month to see what's going on here. In the comments, what do you think is happening? <laughs> because, you know, it's a good exercise in futility trying to take a guess at what's going on here. Either way, like, however this fight ends up playing out, it's going to be interesting because a lot of these guys, their abilities are not, like, offense-based at all. Like, we saw just that one thing a string kind of incapacitated all three of them. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys end up, like, fighting off basically anything. If they're kind of just going to be on the defensive the whole time or what. I hope we get to see Rohan use his stand next chapter. I assume it's going to be Heaven's Door, but who knows. But either way, I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.